Hey guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Oops, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm starting already. <clears throat> Let me get some water. Sorry. All right, so I got the autumn leaves cover semi finished. I still got to put, I think I'm going to put a, an eyelet and a tie in there. I don't know yet. Put, put some book corners on there. Um, this fuzzy leaf and burlap leaf and a uh, dimensional flower. And then on the back, make sure that I'm here, I uh, put some natural jute um, ribbon on there. And then I sewed different um, seed beads on here just to give it, to pull in the cover, the colors of the covers and what's inside. Okay, are y'all ready? Oh, I know this one's kind of naked, but like I said, I'm struggling because I love that that paper. <clears throat> this is the hinged um, double journal card that we made, or I made without you, but <laughs> in my belly band, this little flip, and then we have this one with this little tag. And then the back is just on crap stock. And then our crinkle paper. And then our little quilted looking page. Our um, altered um, prescription drug bag that we made a little tag out of. And I'm thinking I might, I don't know, I might, I might put some, a pull tab on there. Shoot. Let me put another paper clip on here. See, I always think I'm done. I'm not. Oh, well. <laughs> and then this is the other side. And then I made this collage journal card with the um, definition of owl. And then put a little owl on there. And then just some scraps and some doily. And it's just on um, card stock back there. And that goes in here. And, you know, this is a gusset bag. So you can put more things if you want in there. All right. And then this, I stenciled on this um, heavy car start weekly planner. And then this is the card, um, a tag that we did with the um, my um, the junk journal studio with her all things fall. And so it's just back on card stock. And then yes, I put the sequins on there. I yep, that was it. I was toast. So this is our little silk leaves and some more sequins. And then our, let me just make sure, whoopsie, now I'm way up. I'm up at the North Pole. So, oh, all right. So this is our little um, flip up that we did that I put a, a large canceled stamp on. And then this is another altered index card that I did as a, uh, a right side flip that's on Coffee Dye book page. And then we just washied and... Uh, doily and then a label from the the all things fall kit and then um, one of my coffee dyed dimensional flowers <clears throat> and then I did this you know like we've done before on the overlay and it's just a, a large side tuck I don't have anything to go in there my my things getting fat but I still might put something in there I don't know but I didn't want to cover all this up so I figured whoever gets it you know you can fill it up all the more you want and then our little inside for our first signature inner page and then this little I took a little keep coupon a label turned backed it on some um, black cardstock and turned it into a little pocket and then this is one of the little tags from the um, all things fall kit then I took a definition from oh hold on that is Digital Attic Studios. So I, um, that's who's all the definitions are is from her. So I put that on there, backed it on um, black cardstock, and just made it a small little tuck pocket. Left this blank for writing, and then this is a a left flip. Um, uh, altered index card that we put a big washi sticker on there and some labels and gold dots <laughs> and then this is one of the coffee dyed index cards that I did with all my oranges and greens well I made orange and then I had um, fingernail polish and then coffee 
and then just some other stickers from the digital kit and it flips up and then a label and like I said such pretty papers and then this one I went and cut another one of this square out and glued it on and made it a hidden um, tuck pocket just backed it on book, um, book page and then put a little thumb hole in there glued it right on top of the same one you know like the, the other overlays that we did went back and stitched over it so you know, with a jelly pin so it looks like faux stitching and then made that little tag with the bird and some green painters paper and then oh I went and just put this just to strengthen the back because you know this was so heavy and this was you know just kind of regular so I just put a little strip of the stripe paper and one of the labels just to kind of give a little more personality and then this is um, the tags from the um, all things fall kit on oh, bad these tags are from Jane B journals autumn leaves ephemera kit the labels are from the junk journal studio all things fall sorry about that <clears throat> okay and that does tuck down there further if you want it to go even further but I was having it up and then this is a little snippet that I had um, made and then sewed a button on with some um, embroidery thread and just let it hang there so it can be crazy put some washi on the back of here and then this is from the um, autumn leaves kit for um, Janie B journals the kit that we're working on and so I just took you know you know I like making a pocket out of my little tickets so I just backed it on um, book page put some of the glossy green Nouveau drops punched the little holies out and then this is a coffee dyed note pad paper that just says start each day with a grateful heart but all the colors on here you know just went with all the colors in in the journal and then like I said oh there's my little gourd I love them things okay sorry and then this is one of our um, large labels that I all you know just altered it put it on book page and just glued the sides around and made a uh, tuck pocket out of it and this is a tag from this one is actually from the all things fall labels and then I just put some yarn in there and then just some more um, little labels from the um, all things fall then this is from <clears throat> digital attic studios <laughs> is the uh, the word definitions and then this is um, I just put some washi tape on here just because the bottom needed something and then this is the envelope from the um, autumn leaves kit that we decorated and put the backing on and then has the dyed index card and some um, thick note card paper that's kind of brownish with bluish stripes and then we stenciled the inside with the birds and then made a little tuck spot out of a word <clears throat> And then this is another pocket we did with some stripe paper. And then this is from All Things Fall. The stripe paper is from Janie B. Journals. I had listed it in a previous, um, the, the digital, I mean the uh, video for this. <clears throat> then we made this large tag, put some sequins on there, some more word definitions, and um, backed it on cream cardstock. Yep, her little hat's flying off because it's windy, all the leaves are blowing. And then this is a um, another altered index card that I just put on a top hinge and then put a, a whale tail tab on the side and then just some coffee dye doily, a large of the labels, and then um, one of the word labels. Put washi tape on this little paper flip. And then this is um, was a little piece of paper in the... Um, the autumn leaves kit I just took cut it out bent it in half stenciled birds on the inside put a little paper some gold dots and a little golden word on here folded it and made like a just a little note a little note pad thing it's not even pad just note card and then another of the um, large labels that I um, turned into a pocket and then another um, fabric snip this time I put like pumpkin orange embroidery thread in there 
Then this is the other one that we did. This was from uh, a piece of ephemera from the, the actual autumn leaves kit. And then this is from the All Things Fall. And I just put another one of the strips on there with an, another uh, label on there. And then these are the tags that we made from the kit. <clears throat> I know this is not going to stay like that, but anyway, <laughs> some more of that crinkle parchment paper that's been dyed and dyed and dyed. Some brown painter paper, these pretty mushrooms with all that green. I love those. And then this was a piece of um, off of one of the collage papers that was in the kit of autumn leaves that Janie did. I just cut it down for the sides for a pocket. And then um, this is a tag from all things fall in the label she has one sheet with different tags and stuff on there but I backed it on um, craft stock and this turned that into a pocket and put some labels and then um, some words this is some um, um, parchment paper <laughs> green painter paper and just kind of put a little layers on there and then um, these are two other little um, tags that I made this one is from the um, Autumn Leaves kit of Janie B. Journals and um, this little tag is from the All Things Fall from the Junk Journal Studio and I just made little tags to go in here so that way you could tell this was a, a double um, tuck pocket that we had made and then back here this is one of the little notebook papers from the oh September Your Creative Studio and I just took it, put some green Nouveau Dops, some brown, and a little some labels and words and some doily, just to give it a little bit of personality and put it on um, cardstock. And then this is one of the overlay pockets that we did, and I just put a label back there. And then this is the center of the second signature. And I did the same thing here. I did an overlay of this um, page, but this one actually has the little words behind it and the original one doesn't but I just thought it'd be you know a little trick and it does look like it's a double pocket but it's not it's just a single pocket and I took a little my thumb hole thing and punched around the leaves so that way you can see the leaf in there and then um, this is a journal card from all things fall kit <laughs> I'm sorry put Nouveau drops and then some sparkle ribbon on there and then this is our other double tuck pocket and I just um, took some more from the actual kit the autumn leaves kit and um, back this on book page and then some of the brown and blue stripe note card paper and then instead of cutting all the edges I just alternated the sides just so it can look a little different and then this is just a little um, one of the ATC cards that was in the um, autumn leaves file and I just put it on cardstock and then some of the other paper with some of the gold sparkle ribbon and put a little label on there just so you can see that this was a, a double tuck spot and then I took one of the tags and put Nouveau drops on there a label and then fussy cut one of the leaves and then put the topper on there but I hinged it so it's a right flip faux tag hinged thingy so I like doing those and then some more brown painter paper some more crinkle paper and then this one I took one of the um, corner tucks that was in the kit and then um, this was you know Jenny B journals the autumn leaves the num the labels are from the um, junk journal studio all things fall and then I fussy cut a little birdie out and then put some striped um, paper on there and then I stenciled this tree back there and then this was two of the um, ATC cards that came in the kit and I just like we did on the front page that I made the belly band I just left this long and then put a label on on front of the on top of the wide you know where you're supposed to cut strip and then put some Nouveau drops on there some furry green eyelash for its little top and then that just goes inside and I put some washi tape down there and then these are two um, my, my two leftover little tickets from the um, autumn leaves kit and I just backed them on um, little cream cardstock and just 
I can't remember which way I had them. I think I had it that way. And just put them in there in that little spot. And then this one, I just took some of the um, gingham paper, the brown and, um, brown gingham paper that we have, put one of the large labels from the Junk Journal Studio and turned it into a pocket. And then this is a little squirrely um, tag that was in the um, All Things Fall label kit and turned it into a cute little pocket. And I got to do my little ribbons. And then, oops, I didn't put something on there, but I don't know, maybe I'll leave it because one can be regular. And then this is the other um, part of the the um, RX bag, the little gusset bag that we made the little a pocket on. I just took and put a one inch strip of some paper on the back and then um, glued it, you know, put it inside there to line it and then glued it down as the whole thing as a pocket. Then um, use one of the ATC cards on here to decorate it with another word and some brown paper. Um, painter's paper and then this I just took a 4x4 four four piece of card um, index card and stenciled a leaf on there and then did some fussy cut leaves from the um, autumn leaves kit and then put a, a, a label on there and then used a wide piece of um, ribbon for its little pull tab that goes in there so that goes like that and then back here I know I didn't show you this but anyway this is one of those, I think they call them um, table topper cards. And I just took and put washi tape on the front and washi tape on the back because it covered like the Brothers and Sisters Studio from Hobby Lobby. And then I just, because it came with the little truck on there with the little black and white gingham and you know, I had to use it because I have all the black and white in here. So I just put one of the buttons from the... Um, all things fall, a little coupon from there, some of the washi tape, and then some green Nuvo drops. And then this is just a piece of um, cardstock that I punched with the punch and then um, put some gingham on there. And I just figured out where I wanted this card to hang when I put it in there, and that's how I, I glued it on there. So that way you can take this out right on, you know, inside, and you can write on the back and put it right back into that little band. And then this down here was another punch that I had that had some birds on there, and I backed it on some parchment paper, put a little washi, some of that sparkly orange ribbon, and then this is another card that was from the Autumn Leaves kit. I just cut it out and put it on some of the brown and blue stripe um, notepad paper, and then, you know, just decorated with a few things, and then that goes inside there. Put a whale tab, tab on top, and... Um, you can just pull it up to hold that down a little bit, but when it's closed, you, you know, it doesn't matter. And then back here, I did do a double pocket. Um, this is a piece of um, one of the little cards, well, a little, one of the four cards that are inside the kit. I just cut it down to make a pocket, and then I took some of the green stripe paper and then um, backed it with that. And then this is just a, a large piece of um, notepad that has you know the task for the week that I had coffee dyed it smells good and then I just put a little bit of um, parchment paper back there where the preparation is just so you can have you know the whole thing and I just folded it and put it inside there and then this is um, one of the large the words that I printed to per page just cut it down and made a little um, journal tag out of it and then you know put black mark on there to look like I ch -ch -ch scratched on there and then, um, you know, just went around it with some little, look like stri strips, and then put some of the black gingham on there, and that just goes inside that pocket. And then put another word on there. And then the back has the large um, admissions ticket from All Things Fall, and I just backed it on some black paper and um, glued around the three sides to make it a pocket. And then this is the, the large hoot owl um, tag that came in the All Things Fall and I just put some orange and white I mean hello orange and tan and some extra tan banker's twine on there and made a tag out of that so I still have to glue these other book corners onto the back but I had to wait till the front dried and then um, I'm toying with putting some of these stones on here but I just don't know if that's going to take away from my 
my thing. I might just have to leave them and then come here tomorrow in the morning and look at it in the morning with fresh eyes and decide yes or no. Unless, I don't know. I don't know, I guess, I don't know. But it it's pretty. So, and you know how I am about bling. But I don't know, but it's just as pretty without. So, I don't know. So, anyway. All right. Well, there you guys go. It's pretty much all done except for that one paper clip that I put on there. And then I want to put a, maybe, I don't know. I don't know cuz see it's I'm I'm kind of at my limit. I don't know if I want to add anything else in there. I'm pretty even on the top when you smush. It's about the same on in the middle and the bottom is not quite as fat as the top cuz I have more naughty naughty things up there. Yes, they were naughty naughty. And so like I said, I just got to think what I'm going to put on here to tie it with and I don't own any sorry silk and I guess I need to order some because it's probably the only thing I don't have but and I know everybody loves sorry silk to tie their journals with so but yep so that is the autumn leaves journal and once I figure out my tie that I'm going to do I will show that one to you so there you go I hope you enjoyed it I know this was supposed to be my first quick quick easy cute and simple but obviously I failed a few of you have pointed that out that that this was not quick easy but it was cute and kind of simple but you know I don't know so the next one I'm really 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 challenging myself to do quick easy simple one I know just basics and and then that's what I'm gonna do it's gonna be really hard <laughs> apparently because I failed all right so I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video so thanks for watching thanks for sharing some of your time with me thanks for sharing some of your day with me thanks for all of your love and support and y'all have a great day and a blessed rest of your day and uh, lots of kisses lots of love and I will see y'all tomorrow bye guys well since I had a little more time left I thought I would show you some of the covers I've I made listen yo yep. okay so this one is gonna be a little traveler's notebook and I s sewed some batting underneath here so it's a little um puffy and then a little gingham on there to go with the little um, pickup truck and then the inside and then I have this one hear that hopefully I'm in frame <laughs> Um, this one's just kind of going to be a little plain. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I didn't want to cover up all the cute little pumpkin patch. And then um, you can kind of see my little zigzagging, my wonky stitches that I like to do on there. And so that's that one. And then this one, oh, well, I'm going to be putting these on here. <laughs> so I just had them set there. But this is underneath. I put batting underneath there. And um, this is a little crunchy crunchy too so but I'm gonna put these leaves on here and then I have this one this one is probably the thinnest it's it's not quite it's it's soft but it's not as padded and not crunchy so but it's really pretty and can you hear the the texture of the material it's really pretty and then I have this one listen Oh, I know how y'all like that crunch. And then the inside, got our little pockets. And then, like I said, this has got um, batting underneath. Both of them do. And then I sewed kind of around the different things in here just to kind of give a little more dimension. So, you know, that one's going to be a regular size journal. And then we have this one. Yep. And then this one has lace inside for the pockets. And then the outside. And then this is one that I had that I'm going to be working on. Isn't that pretty? I mean, this is prettier than the front, but we'll just have to put some some something on here. But it came like this with this on. I mean, anyway, it's just pretty as can be. And then this is another one. I didn't even bend it yet. Um, 
that I did for another kit that we have for uh, Traveler's Notebook one. Sorry, I know I'm out of frame, but I definitely did not bend that when I was, after I made it like I did the other ones to be able to show you. Yeah, I have to get a little rough with my stuff. <laughs> oh, all right. So, and there's, there's that one. So, all of the digitals that I've shared with you for the autumn that we've printed so far are all going into these, these lovely journals. Okay, and then once I get all the papers cut and get them put in here, then I will show you what they look like with, with their papers in there. All right, I know I still have to glue my little strings down so I can snip them, because, you know, I like to glue them before, before I snip them. And there you go. So we have a lot of little autumn things to do, plus a couple more of the, the um, flippy things from the Dollar Tree and another spiral. And anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, so bye. And I am going to put at the end of this a picture of Jake. Um, just so you know, I was in there and I heard this. <gasps> and I was like, my gosh, what is that noise? I turn around and this is what I got a picture of. So you can see why somebody can't breathe when he has something in his mouth. Because it's just, this is what he does constantly. And this is what you hear when you hear squeak, squeak all the time. He is squeaking one of them. So, just a little hint of what's at the very end. So, I'm going to add that crazy picture of him. So, y'all can see crazy man that's always making the squeak, squeak noise. Okay, guys. See y'all later. Bye.